Hey, this is Craig Ballantyne, author of Unstoppable, the Wall Street Journal bestseller, and I got the number one problem for you today, okay? As an entrepreneur, your number one issue is that you don't have clarity in your business about how to get new clients. Man, that's where we struggle. And it's really hard to pay the bills and live the life you deserve when you don't have money coming in. And you fear going out of business and going back to your old life. Maybe it's the nine to five job, or maybe it's you know losing your home and losing your freedom. Now I know, I was once like you, and that's why I wrote this book, because I suffered from crippling anxiety attacks when I was a beginner entrepreneur. I was all over the place. And listen, if you're feeling that way, it's not your fault. The thing is, they don't teach this to you in school, right? There's not like, hey, you know, here's how you're gonna grow your million dollar business in high school or college. No, they don't give you that information. They teach you to work for somebody else. And this game is totally different. Now, what I do for people is I help them get structure and systems into the business. I teach you what you were supposed to be taught in order to get quick victories and a clear roadmap for success. One of the worst feelings in the world that you can have is when the sales are not coming in. And so one of the biggest mistakes I see business owners making is that they're not able to turn their audience and their prospects into customers, okay? You just don't have the sales skills and feel like you're running out of time and money before the business goes broke, right? That is like one of the worst feelings, like being on that roller coaster and dropping and dipping. Now, here's the thing, is that if you don't have that, you have the fear of embarrassment of having to pack it in and what everyone will say, like your brother-in-law is gonna make fun of you and say, oh, I knew you couldn't do it, or your friends or whoever it is. And listen, I was once like you. I was terrified of asking for the sale because I grew up with bad money mindset, scarcity mindset, and so listen, it is not your fault that you were not born with amazing sales skills. Hardly anybody has sales skills. And so the cause is that you don't have time to improve your sales skills, all right? But in order to do that, if you put structure and systems into place and have a more perfect day is what I call it, then you're gonna have more time to build your high income skills. And the next thing you know, money is gonna flow effortlessly and easily into your life. And you're gonna be truly abundant and you're not gonna have the weight of the world on your shoulders anymore because of the skills that you have. And again, it all starts with creating more time in your day. And that is something I wanna help you with, all right? So when I'm helping somebody build a business and scale it to their first six figures or scale it from six to seven figures, or like some of my highest earning clients up to $100 million and more, the very first thing that we need to do is put a clear roadmap in place, a very clear script and schedule and systems and structure into your days so that you get those fast victories. If you fear like you're never gonna be there for your kids and that your relationships are gonna crumble and that your health is gonna suffer, I want you to understand that I was once like you and I know what that feels like. I had crippling anxiety attacks and that's why I wrote this book to help entrepreneurs like you, like I was years ago to overcome that because it's not your fault. I mean, we were not taught how to do this stuff. We were not taught how to build a business. And the thing is, we weren't taught how to put systems and structure into place. And that is a secret to success. And that's what I do these days. So when I'm building a business, I always help you get a clear roadmap to know exactly what to do, and most importantly, what not to do. Too many people are not doing the right things in their business. They're chasing shiny objects. They're misaligned, and they're, they're really frustrated, and they're spinning their wheels. And I describe you as being a race car, right? Like a high-performance machine, and you're spinning your wheels. Your wheels are in the mud, and all we have to do is lift you up, put the structure and systems into place, put you on the pavement, and you're going 200 miles down an hour down the road. Hey, you're probably putting too much trust in other people. And one of the biggest mistakes that we make in our business is we count on other people too much. And we don't give them enough training. We're not enough of a leader to lift them up and coach them to the performance they need. And we end up being frustrated. We end up being frustrated by people who are saying, oh, they're not stepping up, right? You're disappointed in someone, whether it's a vendor or a contract worker or maybe a team member. And the thing is, when you are frustrated by that, when you haven't become that great leader, you end up working all the time. You end up doing all of their jobs, you suffer in silence, and you're correcting everyone. And you can't be that top-down boss. So what has to change is that you have to stop doing the jobs of five people, and you have to stop fearing that they're gonna leave you and that you're gonna be left in a worse position than ever, and you have to change and become a leader. And I know this to be true because I was once like you. I was passive aggressive. I was bossy and not a leader. I was avoiding difficult conversations. And we see this in every business that we work with. But listen, this is not your fault. You know, you were not taught great leadership in high school or in college. 
You really had to go the extra mile in order to become a good leader through organizations and stuff. This is not stuff taught in school and that's the frustrating thing. Now here's, here's the good news. The good news is that you can get around people who will show you how to coach people up. And that's the world that I play in these days. I bring together a lot of people, share great leadership stuff, help you build the structure and systems so that you have great management with your team members. Man, we have a perfect business rhythm of our meetings where we elevate our team members so that they go the extra mile and outperform our expectations. And so when building a business, I put this all together in a nice roadmap to give you quick victories, to help you become the leader, to help you lift people up so that you're not doing the work of five people and working too much and suffering in silence, all right? A big, big mistake business owners make is that they are letting social media be used on them rather than using social media, okay? So don't get sucked into spending a lot of time checking out other people's feeds. You gotta unfollow people and you gotta use social media and leverage its ability to reach so many people. So one of the biggest frustrations that entrepreneurs have is they can't turn their audience into customers. They don't know how to sell on social media and it requires systems and structures and having the right pillars in place. And that's why I wrote this book is to help entrepreneurs overcome entrepreneurial anxiety and do the right things, have more time before they run out of money in their business and go broke, all right? So if you're feeling, fearing like the embarrassment of starting social media, they don't know what to say on it, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do because I was once like you, I was controlled by social media rather than controlling social media. And listen, it's not your fault. Every single day, there's a thousand PhDs from MIT in Silicon Valley working us to get us addicted to our phones. And I don't want that to happen to you, okay? So I help you separate work life and social media so that you can dominate it and avoid getting sucked in. We'll give you the structure, we'll give you the systems, we'll help put that roadmap into place and give you the quick victories you need. So again, you will stop letting social media be used on you and you'll start using social media the right way so that you grow your business, all right? One of the big mistakes that we make as entrepreneurs is we have the fear of competition, right? And the fear of competition makes us go and do stupid things. We chase shiny objects, we, we try and do what they're doing, and we don't know their business, and the next thing you know, it can destroy us. Now, if you are letting competition get in your head, you, you start to feel like you can't keep up and there are too many competitors in your space, your business is going down, your fear is that your business is gonna go bankrupt, and I know, I was once like you. I, was, I grew up scarcity-minded, and being scarcity-minded holds you back. But listen, it's not your fault. That's just the way that you were raised, probably by your parents, your bad money mindset. And the thing is, is that right now, when you fear that competition, it's because you don't have a strategy to stand out. You don't have the right mindset. You don't have the structure and systems in your business to elevate your team, to elevate your income, and forget about the competition because great business owners don't get hung up on that. So when I'm helping a client build a business, what I do is I make sure that you get a clear roadmap, a clear roadmap for success to increase your, your income and your sales, to decrease your work hours, and most importantly, to get quick victories. So no matter how much competition you have, whether you're in the fitness space like I was for so long and there was so much competition, whether you're a real estate agent and there's a million other real estate agents out there, don't worry about it. We don't have to let the competition get in our head and make us make the wrong decisions anymore. Hey, have you ever felt like you're doing everything yourself and you're totally exhausted, like you're holding a puppy dog all day long? Well, listen, that's a huge mistake that we see entrepreneurs make, all right? Whoa, let me put Daisy the dog down here. You know, I used to not be able to let go and I used to struggle and, and really it was so hard to grow my business. And I felt like, I felt like I, because I couldn't let go and I thought no one else can do this as good as me, no one else could hold a puppy dog as good as me, you know, <laughs> it just held me back. And I was working all the time, I was suffering in silence and if you're making that mistake, well, I've got good news for you. I was once like you and I figured my way out of it. Thing is, I had a scarcity mindset that I had to overcome. And when I was able to do that and delegate, become a better leader and then grow my business, suddenly the weight of the world was off my shoulder. So if you're doing too much, if you're doing it all yourself, if you don't trust people, if you're not willing to let go, we need to change that. But listen, if you are in that situation, it's also not your fault. You probably grew up like me, you came from a blue collar background and you know nobody, nobody ever taught you how to get other people to help you. And it just wasn't the right thing. And the cause of that frustration is 
that you weren't taught that because nobody teaches this in school and you don't know how to delegate properly and you don't have the systems or strategies in your business. And when you haven't been given that mentorship that we all need, well, building a business becomes tough. So here's what I did. I went and got a coach. I got exponential results when they finally showed me exactly what to do because I found a coach who had been there and done that and achieved what I wanted to achieve. And it made success so much easier because I wasn't doing it all on my own. I wasn't walking through a forest with a blindfold on, okay? That's what too many entrepreneurs are doing. They're trying to do it all themselves. And I wanna take the weight of the world off your shoulders and give you quick victories and a clear roadmap to success. So if that sounds helpful to give you the structures, the systems, and the skills you need to grow your business, then just click the link below and we're gonna give you the perfect business formula Facebook group access for free, okay? And in there, we're gonna show you every single day how to make more money and work less because it's what I needed when I was younger and struggling and suffering in silence. And so I decided I'm gonna dedicate my life to helping people not make the same mistakes that I did. So I'm gonna show you how to make more money and work less. Just click the link below and we'll see you on the inside.